So we're talking Batman today. And it is Tuesday. DC Fandom was last Saturday. And I still can't stop watching that trailer for the Batman. It is so dang good. It is just, mwah. it is like what we needed during this time. We needed our Batman trailer and the film's only been shot 25%. There's still 75% of that film left to film. And if what we saw in that DC Fandome trailer, it's gonna be good. I cannot wait to see Robert Pattinson on the big screen, October 1st, 2021. And it's just gonna be the best time ever. I have a friend who refuses to watch any of the trailers from DC Fandom, and I don't know why he refuses to do that, but he does. That's his, his loss. Um, and this trailer is just so dang good. Right from the beginning, when you just hear the tape, the sounds of duct tape, you're, you know you're in for something crazy. And literally, a dude's head is covered in tape and written on it in red Sharpie marker says, no more lies. And you're like, well, shoot, what's going on here? Some, some definitely going on here for this to be happening and everything. And then it gets right into it with Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon checking out a crime scene, looking around everywhere. And Riddler ne left, Riddler left a, a nice greeting card. To the Batman and then we see our boy come walking up in the crime scene you see the boots first and then we see the suit and I remember when the those set photos came out that suit did not look good in those set photos part of that's because it was daytime then and it was like mm -mm, no I don't like this suit but now that we have footage of what the suit is gonna look like in this film, it actually looks pretty dang cool. That suit looks pretty good. And I am excited to see more of it. We saw a couple shots of the Batmobile. I'm still kind of iffy on that. I, I still need some more like footage and stuff to really decide if I like this Batmobile or not but yeah and then we got some action of Catwoman breaking into something and then a few shots of her fighting Batman which I it was like 11 o'clock when I watched this trailer and like my I was like out energy like my brain was just like Bleh. like I didn't even realize it was Catwoman until after I'd watched the trailer and filmed my trailer reaction, also go watch that. It's up here. Uh, um, and then there's a shot of Colin Farrell's penguin in this, which I had no idea that was penguin. I I think when I was watching the trailer for the first time, I saw it and I was like, "Who's that guy?" But I was like, I had no idea what was going on at all and then we get Riddler's literally this saying is already iconic from this movie it's not even out yet we have over a year to see it and this saying from this first trailer is already iconic freaking if you are justice please do not lie what is the price for your blind eye. Like, I remember watching it and that's just, wow. It is just so good. 
is just so good. It's literally like Why So Serious from The Dark Knight. That's literally what this is. But it seems to be on a much higher scale than The Dark Knight. And even then, right after that, we get we get Robert Pattinson just taking a dude out. Like, you just see a whole group of thugs here. And Wong's like, the heck are you supposed to be? And he goes full Arkham Batman on this guy. Like, five punches in five seconds, literally. Knocks him to the ground, waits like one more second, and then beats him two more times. And then, I'm vengeance. And that's the trailer. And then, two and a half minutes later after watching the trailer, I was like, DC, take my money. Take my money. I don't care. Take my money. I want to see this thing. It's so bad now. I am sold on this film. I am sold as Robert Pattinson as Batman. Even though Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton are returning for Batman in the Flash movie. I'm excited for them to be back. But Robert Pattinson... I can't wait to see that. I'm so excited. I can't wait for it. Also, let's talk about that Nirvana song that they used in the trailer for. But I call it um, Something in the Way. That's a good song. That's a really good song. Literally, I downloaded that after I saw the trailer. And I was like, I like this song. And I've pretty much already memorized all the lyrics because I am that way. But it's just, it fits a Batman movie, it seems. It just fits this Batman movie, kind of, at least for the trailers. But imagine if we actually got it in the movie, then that would be awesome. Imagine, ooh, imagine it playing over a fight scene. That would kind of, that'd be really dope. Oh well. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Um, I think that's all. I'll probably be back with and gushing about the Gotham Knights trailer. So, yeah. Also, go check out my other trailer reaction stuff from DC Fandom. Um, I'll leave a link in the description and over here in the iCard. It'll They'll be they'll have been popping up during this video. So yeah, be sure you do that. And yeah. Bye now. I love you guys.